Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is your weekly general reading for the 16th through the 22nd of March 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the messages from your animal spirit guides and the Morgan Greer Tarot for your weekly general messages. All right, Leo, let's see what messages we have for you. Oh, my goodness. Very interesting. So, Aries just uh, pulled the same. I just pulled the same energy for Aries as well. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, or you may have Aries in your chart, Leo. We have Frog, Prosperity coming up here. And this is a beautiful energy, very positive. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Leo, sun, moon, and rising spirit. What does Leo need to know this week? 16th through the 22nd. Thank you, spirit. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you, spirit. All right, we are ready. Your current situation is the star. And your foundation is the Eight of Swords. Reset past energy, we have the Five of Cups. Crowning you is the Seven of Rods. Your new circumstance or opportunity is the Magician. Beautiful. In the position of what you need to know, we have the devil. Your outcome energy is the queen of swords. All right, Leo. You know, I see you guys breaking free from someone, something. Um, you, you are definitely, and, and I, I'm getting a healing energy. I'm getting a very powerful energy of you know, many of you are stepping into your power, okay? Um, you know, I feel there's something that you want and you're going after it. And it requires you maybe to break free from a certain mindset, okay? Maybe a way of thinking that was um, causing you to doubt yourself, okay? Or maybe it was fear, and, and you're going to be breaking free. You're going to be... Um, now, for some of you, I am getting you're breaking free from maybe a toxic work environment. Or this could be breaking free from a relationship as well. Okay? You know there's something amazing waiting for you. And you're going after it. Okay? So whatever has been causing that energy of limiting or restricting you from uh, being able to have a, a breakthrough or be able to walk through a door that you feel like has been closed on you, you're definitely going to be letting go. You're definitely going to be breaking free this week, okay? Now, you have the frog prosperity coming up here. Let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. For some of you, you know, there's a definite need for a healing to take place within your your heart chakra, okay? Um, I feel for some of you, you've been wounded. I'm getting that wounded warrior type energy right here. Uh, this could have been a, a challenging uh, cycle that you've been in, and it, it's time to release. It, it's time to start a new chapter here and close one that has been very difficult because you have good things opportunities waiting for you you have abundance and good fortune here and i see you going after it now you do have the star coming up here this is the energy of aquarius all right i feel for many of you here's this healing that you're allowing to take place within your heart within your life okay i feel many of you know that you are divinely guided you're going after a wish or a dream here. You understand it's within reach because you are in communication with your guides and your angels. You have this spirit communication. You're paying attention. You're aware. 
You're awake. You know what's going on around you. Okay? And I feel for many of you, you are releasing. You are letting go. And some of you, like I said, you're letting go of a, a hard relationship that you've been in for a while. And it's no longer serving you. And you're going to break free from it and you're going to move forward. For some of you, this could have been a challenging time within your financial situation. Okay? A toxic job even. You could be in between jobs. But you're understanding that, you know, you are listening to the nudges. You're divinely guided here. And this is what's allowing for you to break free and move forward. Especially with the Eight of Swords coming up here in your foundation. Because this is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you. You are definitely breaking free out of a, a prison here of doubting yourself or, or an energy of fear. Feeling limited or restricted. This is you doing spiritual alchemy right here. You're using this as fuel. Okay. Taking a negative and fueling it. Making a positive out of a, a situation maybe where you felt trapped. This could have been a, a mindset. A way of believing as well. And you're breaking free from it. Now I love the five of cups in this position. This is in your recent past. You're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading. Leo, here it is. Okay? This is you. Yes. You're, you know, you know what loss and disappointment is. You know what difficulties and challenges are. Okay? For each of you, it's going to be something different. But this is you still choosing to see the opportunities right here that are still available to you. Okay? You have the seven of rods in your crowning position. This is what you know and this is what you're thinking about. You know, this is you protecting what's yours. This could be you protecting your energy. This could be you standing in your truth and in your power, protecting what you're creating or what you're going after. Okay? You do have the upper hand in this situation. You're aware. You're prepared. You're awake. You have the spirit of perseverance within you. You're not going to let anybody take anything from you okay you're defending yourself this could be you defending your dream what you're manifesting what you're going to co-create you could have had people around you saying oh you can't do that why are you doing that that's not a good idea okay but now you're understanding how powerful you are and you're not you're not going to listen to them cuz you you do embody this energy right here this is you understanding that each and every one of you are the magician and co-creator of your reality this is gemini and virgo energy and this is in the position of your new opportunity okay your new circumstances right here this is you manifesting and co-creating what you truly want what you desire some of you are making a desired change to an outcome, okay? You know what you want, Leo. This is you understanding that you have all the power within you and tools within you to make that desired change, okay? Using that laser-focused intention, making your mark right here, and you're going to get it. Now, in the position of what you need to know right now, we have the devil. This is the energy of Capricorn coming through here. Okay? Like I said before, these two energies remind me, they're, they're kind of similar, all right? You know, the devil is that energy of feeling limited, restricted, bound, tied. You see, you've been working on this. You, you've, you are breaking free from this, okay? So, with the devil coming up here in the position of what you need to know, you are going to break free from this. Some of you, you're breaking free from, like I said, a relationship, toxic people, okay? Maybe it's a mindset, but you are breaking free. Especially with the Queen of Swords coming up here in your outcome energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, whether you're female or male, okay? 
You're coming from a space of standing in your truth. This is you using that sword to cut yourself free from whatever you felt bound or tied to. Now, you're coming of a space of, from a space and energy of doing what's right and what's just for you, for the betterment of your situation. You're not backing down from anybody. And this is coming through when you're, re you know, with your reading right here. You're not going to let anybody get in the way of your dreams or what it is that you are wanting to create here. You're not going to let anybody take from you anymore. You know, I I'm getting the uh, sentence here. You're not going to allow anyone to poison, you know, your energy anymore. You're fighting for it. You're standing up for it. And this is you. Speaking your truth, using that clear communication right here, being very straightforward, telling people, I'm not doing this, I'm not putting up with this anymore. You know, I feel the power, Leo. It's a powerful reading. I feel the hurt here, the pain of some of you are coming out of something that was very painful, disappointing. But, you know, you've you're going to come out on top. Okay? You're going to overcome this. Abundance and good fortune await you. And you know this. You know that door is opening up for you. You've been manifesting and co-creating it. Alright, Leo. Before I close here, I've been telling each sign at the end of the, the readings. Okay? With this coronavirus, we have fear and we have love. Alright? Don't live in that state of fear. Live in the light of love. Love can conquer all. We are all one. Okay? I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.